Hi, if you've seen one of these before, it's a Hack RF and normally they work quite well but eventually you can lose the preamp on the front end and it costs quite a bit of money to change them and they're quite fiddly so I'd just like to show you a way of getting around it without having to mess around with the internal circuitry on the Hack RF. Stay here and I'll show you how. Right, I've just put this Hack RF onto the broadcast band and as you can see there's no amp ticked. I've turned the gain right down because obviously I don't want it oversaturating. But what we'll do is we'll I'll just move the mouse onto the amp. Watch what happens. It's so basically the preamp shot in this Hack RF. I'm gonna knock it back off again. What I'm going to do next is I've actually got a small preamp, which is an external one here. And this is going to be the, the item that prevents uh, you having to change the internal preamp. I'll show you it working. Right, so this is the amp and the Hack RF going into an antenna, which is a dual band call in here. As you can see, there's no preamp on, the gain's right down, and we're not getting a very good reception because obviously the amp's blocking the signal. So what I'll do now is I'll plug this USB in, and you'll notice the difference on the input. So as you can see, it's actually I'll just turn that down. I don't want to be rebroadcasting anything copyright. Um, as you can see, it's plus past the minus 10 dB. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what it's like without the amp in line. Right, we're back. I'm so out of line now. As you can see, the signals are in the minus 20s, minus 25 dB range. So it does give it a considerable boost and you get that reception that you need with the preamp on. So obviously because the preamp's not working on this, what this uh, Hack RF, I'll be sticking with this here. I'll give you a closer look. Basically you've just got a standard USB connection at the top, RF in and RF out. They're about £3 on eBay as well. I did buy a couple. I think what I'll do is I'll try the line and I'll switch the amp on to see what difference it makes. Stand by. Right, we're back. As you can see the signals are off the chart. And if I go to the amp itself, Switch that on. Let's close that. You can see that it knocks everything off. So the amp step definitely shot. There you go, there's it. It's back to normal. Obviously, you can turn the gain up. Also, it actually increases the noise floor as well. So, I dare say you can get away without having to replace the small uh, preamp IC in the Hack RF when it goes. It will actually blow eventually on everybody's because it's um, it just hasn't got that belt and braces approach to being uh, a secure amp. It's easily static shocked and too much RF damages it as well. So. You know, it's just obviously, it's been designed um, with flaws, unfortunately. Anyway, if you do get that problem, you know that you can buy a little, little preamp for about £3. And uh, it'll solve your problem for you.
the GPS signal said 1.179 gigs so you can see that this amplifier still works even in the gigs range it's quite a strong signal as well Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like my videos. I'm Barry G0SCI.